it's time for the Oscars of the advertising world. So Andy, what are your Oscars this week? Shall I open an envelope for you? I think that would be a good idea, although I did have a sneak preview earlier on, so I have a good idea what they might be. Shall I just sort of... Why did you share them with me? Here's the secret and away. the millions here this Okay, week. well the hero was uh, in response to an email that we received from Neville Golden, and he had been lucky enough to be on a Kalula flight to Cape Town on which Robertson Spices were doing a brand uh, promotion. And what they were doing was they got Reuben Riffle, no less, uh, and he served exquisite food to all the passengers on the flight, uh, all spiced up by Robertson Spices. And the idea was to demonstrate what a difference a Robertson Spice can make. Now, doing it on an airline was quite clever because mm. airline food does not have a reputation for high-class cuisine. And also doing it on Kalula was quite clever mm. because Kalula doesn't normally serve regular meals. You have Samis. to buy your Samis. So there was no unfair comparison or no disparaging of Kalula's own cuisine because it was in a different field altogether. And it certainly impressed young Neville. He said, uh, he wrote to Robertson's afterwards and he said, the food by Reuben was absolutely delicious. Served by cheerful and friendly, well-dressed waiters in proper china, that would be the food, not the waiters, and a glass of wine in a real glass with a cup of coffee to finish, also served in a proper cup. And clearly he thinks this mm. was great and he congratulates them. And I think it's a good idea too, because it doesn't just get to the 150 mm. or so passengers on the plane, it gets to everyone that Neville talks to mm. and everyone that anyone one of those 150 people tweeted to or shared with and it gets right to the heart of the issue about making food that might otherwise be bland really delicious. So after that your zero? Well my zero is for a brand that plays in a category that rather reluctantly we almost at some point take notice of which is funerals and this is for probably South Africa's best known funeral brand Avbob and they've started running a television commercial which is laden with emotion. It follows uh, a family through the aging process. It's got black and white uh, imagery and, and violins and, and chamber music going and the whole thing builds up to this crescendo with a line that says something like, it's, it's not just, just how you live your life but how you finish it. And you get this whole emotional thing going and then boop, up on the screen comes a title that says, SMS discount too. <laughs> and all of the investments you've made and that they have made in creating these emotions and making you think a little differently about the sad subject of death gone through this rather crass final component which just says cheap, cheap, cheap. So there we go, Jen. That's this week's hero, which is Robertson Spices, and this week's zero on the grisly subject of death, rather overly commercially handled, Avbob with their new TV stuff. But now I think that we need to encourage people to go along to the Andy Rice Facebook page because it is packed with your comments, it's packed with the latest in advertising, it's packed with all sorts of whimsical bits and pieces and the advertising industry is sitting up straight and they're contributing as well. So go along and have some fun and we often get our hero and our zero from the Facebook page. That's right, we often have planned something right the way through the week yes. and then two hours before we're about to do the show, someone comes up with a brilliant suggestion, puts it up on Facebook and we think, that's the one. Oh, I know where you got that one from. <laughs> Lexington. <laughs>